In today's video, I'll be taking you through one of my favorite spine mobility movements. And this one will be breaking down a little bit further so you can practice some really specific, fantastic spine mobility drills. All right, let's go ahead and begin. The cat cow is my favorite for adding spine mobility and pelvic awareness, especially after a long day of sitting. The setup for this exercise, we want to stack our joints, so bringing the knees directly under the hips and the hands directly underneath your shoulders. Your body will not shift forward or backwards during the movement, you're just focusing on your spine and your pelvis. Go ahead and add an inhale as you open into your cow position and then exhale as you round into cat. In your cow position, try to pull your palms towards your knees. You're gonna feel more stretched through your torso. In your cat position, try to push the palms away from each other and get more stretch in the upper back. Let's break down our spine movement a little bit more. Focus on the lumbar alone, tucking the pelvis and then extending. So moving through the lower part of the body while the upper part stays nice and still. As you tuck your lumbar, you're gonna feel your lower abdominals turn on. And as you extend that lumbar, you're gonna feel a slight stretch in the abdominals. Make sure your hips and your knees stay stacked throughout this movement. Now let's practice just moving the upper part. So your lumbar stays neutral. You're going to flex and extend through the upper part of your body. For some of us, it's rather hard to add extension and flexion in this mid part of our back due to some tightness, so it does take time and it does improve with practice. Make sure that you utilize the press of the hands into the floor as you cat your back, and as you cow your back, you can press your palms towards your knees just to emphasize a bit more extension in the upper back. All right, next we're gonna combine those two movements in a sequential cat-cow. So we're gonna move through that spine like a wave. Start with the head, tuck the chin, round the upper back. Keep rounding through the mid-back and finally the pelvis and the low spine and unwind. Take the tail first into extension. Go low back, mid-back, upper, and head last. Now this is a tricky mobility drill because you can't see it, right? You're just basically feeling it as you're moving and trying to emphasize this awareness of our spine as well as our pelvis. So yes, it takes practice. And if you have any sticky spots within your back, those are cues for you to pay a little bit more attention to those areas going forward with your mobility practice. All right, the next move is a lot of fun. From the cat-cow position, we're gonna go ahead and add rotation into this movement. So make a cat position first with your body, push evenly through the palms, side bend, drop through to cow, and then circle around to the other side. So notice I'm making circles one direction here with both my head and my tail. I'm getting some side bending, I'm getting some extension, flexion, and also rotation. It feels fantastic, and if you tend to get a little bit dizzy, don't worry, go ahead and just close your eyes. And remember, this is just a variation, so when you practice this, take your time, make sure your setup is on point before you start, and you can take this as slow as you'd like. I hope you enjoyed this video covering the cat cow and some variations from that base position. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you love this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, drop your comments in the comment box below. Thanks so much and have a great day.